Hey, God bless you out there, YouTube land, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. No new prophecy from the throne room. Prophecy, a man calendar. It will not be the end of the world. December the 21st, 2012, that's what the, the man calendar says. But it will not happen. That was a pagan religion. They made human sacrifices. They didn't worship the God of Israel. Uh, they had a, a false god there. And uh, I'm going to get into it after a while. There won't be the end of the world till Jesus Christ returns. So this is straight from the throne room. Don't worry about December the 21st, 2012. That will not be the end of the world. You will live the next day, December the 22nd, 2012, and many days ahead till Jesus returns. The world will not end. So uh, I just want to make this little video today to tell everybody God's on the throne. That don't worry about the pagan uh, calendar. I don't know if the planets all line up together here on that date. Only God knows. I don't know. But you know, Hollywood made, I think, a movie about three years ago trying to put fear in everybody that it was the end of the world, December the 21st, 2012. But no, it's not the Hollywood version of earthquakes and disasters and volcanoes and floods and like, you know, uh, asteroids, the whole work, world works, you know what I mean? Don't worry. The Hollywood New World, the Mongols are trying to uh, scare you uh, the death, but God's in control. So in the Holy Bible that day, I'll show you when the end of the world will happen. Only when Jesus Christ, King of King and Lord of Lords, returns will be the end of the world. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 to 18. Listen closely. And I bless you all out there in YouTube land, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, that you have a blessed uh, Christmas Day. Jesus is the reason for the season. King of King and Lord, Lord. Jesus, the Messiah, and Savior of the world. Here's the first uh, Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13. But I will not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, and, ye, and that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then when, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Therefore comfort one another with these words. This is caught up in the air. This is the rapture. You won't find rapture in the Bible. Caught up there. This is it right there. That's when the end of the world will come. When Jesus returns in the clouds and he'll split uh, the eastern sky is like a thief in the night. It's going to be a beautiful time. And, and it ain't a, a man calendar. That won't be the end of the world, December the 21st, 2012. But the end of the world will be when Jesus Christ returns again. The Texas Saints home. The born again uh, believers, the born again Christians. So if you don't know Jesus Christ, your personal savior, this is your time. Don't wait too long. We don't know when Jesus returns. He can return today. Or tomorrow, we don't know. Get your house in order. This is the time to accept Jesus Christ, your personal Savior. I thank you two for this video. And, and, and uh, me and Betty and, and Alicia, Cully, wish you a blessed Christmas all over the world. This will be your uh, most blessed uh, Christmas. Jesus is the reason for the season. This is your time to accept Jesus Christ. The greatest gift of mankind God gives. Let Jesus come into your heart. For the glory be to God. Say this prayer with me. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. And this will be your greatest uh, Christmas uh, present uh, you could ever get anybody when Jesus Christ comes in your heart. Lord Jesus, forgive me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, 
I love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, my uh, new name's written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for eternal life. Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. That's the greatest present of all time in my life, my greatest decision. And Jesus, you're the Savior and Messiah of my life. I thank you in Jesus' holy name. You said that prayer, that's your greatest gift. Uh, to mankind when Jesus Christ comes into your heart. Right, me and George uh, and Betty Cully on YouTube channel. Uh, you see our email address there. You see our address there on the profile. And, and me and Betty and Alicia uh, bless you with a, a, a special Jesus is the reason for the season. This will be your greatest year in 2012. Don't worry, it ain't the end of the world, December the 21st, 2012, because you'll be celebrating Christ's birth on December the 25th, 2012. For the glory be to God. We love you, but most important, Jesus Christ loves you. God bless you. Have a good day. Be praying for Lisa the Brother Ministry in Pinkneyville, Illinois. We covet your prayers. Be praying for George and Betty and Lisa and Kelly. We love you all. God bless you. Have a good day. We pray the many blessings God upon you, to his anointing and his power and his, his uh, compassion and mercy, his amazing grace. Oh, Lord Jesus, let thy manifold the new people, the new salvation today in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, for your glory. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for saving their souls. For the glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus.